Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on a block, still see the boy them lurking. Hi there, guys. Adam from The Beard Solution here with a rather long video. I'm actually going to be doing about um, nine weekly updates. Uh, I'm bashing them all into one video for you guys rather than uploading dribs and drabs. Also because I want to keep this under wraps uh, and I don't want loads of people asking me, has it worked yet? Has it worked yet? Has it worked yet? I don't fucking know. I haven't used it long enough. So I'm going to be using this stuff for about two months. You probably already peaked from the description. I'm talking about Andractum. I'm also talking really quickly because I've just had my Chinese food delivered and I really want to go and eat it. So uh, Andractum, I'm going to talk to you about a few things uh, in this video to start off with and then I'll obviously jump into each of the weekly updates. I'll also put some timestamps if I can in the description so you can just jump to each section if you get a little bit bored. Um, this is essentially DHT gel. It's DHT in a gel. Um, I have managed to obtain this legally um, through a website online. Uh, the distributors are in the UK and I am legally allowed to possess this, although I believe it is a class two steroid. It's essentially a class C drug, um, but you are allowed to possess it legally. Um, if on your own persons, you can't obviously sell it and whatnot. It costs a lot of money, £149 for two tubes, that includes shipping, uh, and also a mandatory um, prostate screening test. Um, but yeah, and that's essentially like a blood test. I didn't bother doing it. You probably should if you do decide to get something like this. I'm not recommending this to you guys, I'm just gonna document my journey on it. Um, I'm gonna do two months, apply it once a day in the morning, uh, and then basically keep it on all day, and then wash it off at night and apply minoxidil once a day. I'm not going to be doing anything else. I'm not going to be derma rolling, not going to be laser combing, not going to be taking the supplements. Regardless of what I've said in recent updates, I haven't been using them. Regardless of what I might have responded to in your comments or if I've left very cryptic answers, it's because I don't basically want to let the cat out of the bag that I am using this, but also because um, basically I'll feel bad about lying and then getting to here and saying I was telling the truth. I, if I've potentially lied there, it's for the greater good. It's so that I can keep my own personal experiment under wraps and not have anything else other than this and minoxidil. After I've stopped doing this, I will probably jump back on the supplements again because um, I think that they're, they're potentially a good thing to try out. I believe, and it's my theory, and the only other people that know I'm doing this are the admins at the minoxidil spot and one other person. It's my theory that applying this stuff to my facial hair follicles will make my vellus and terminal uh, vellus and transitional shed out and be replaced with terminal hairs. Not all of the admins agree with me, and some are just gem most are just generally open minded about it uh, and want to see kind of what happens. Because it's DHT gel, there is a risk of hair loss with this stuff. I'm only using half of a dose each day, so that means the two tubes should last me a month, uh, two months, sorry. So each tube should last me a month in that in that case. I don't know if I have the um, male pattern baldness gene or not. I don't think that I do, but if I do, and I use this stuff too much, then potentially I could get some hair loss. Another side effect of this is actually hair growth in the area that you apply it. So I'm actually applying it to my beard, so here's hoping. Um, but yeah, I basically just wanna let you guys know there are risks with, really, with using this. Um, it's not necessarily safe. Uh, I am just experimenting completely myself, but I wanted to be honest and open with you guys about what I've used, because if by a miracle it goes terminal within the next two months and you guys are sat back thinking, how the fuck has he done that from all that Vellus and shit? You'll know. Um, and if it hasn't, I'm going to be probably waiting another two months after that and doing another cycle of it again. By then you guys will know what I'm doing. Um, but it's a theory, guys. It's just a theory of mine. I've not seen anybody else within the Minox community um, on YouTube do this. I've heard of one in the um, in Jeff's beard board from years ago, uh, but I don't often trust a lot of what he said. He was seen as like the messiah back then, but a lot of the stuff I read from him, I'm like, well, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. We probably know a lot more now than they did back then, because it was 2008, so it's like nearly 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, anyway. We're already nearly fucking five minutes in. This video is probably gonna be about 30 minutes long. So um, as I say, timestamps in the description if you wanna to jump to particular weeks. Um, but yeah, once a day, um, half of a normal dose, just to the beard area, um, and then minox in the evening. And that's all I'll be doing. So Adam, do you wanna take over from week one's update? Thanks Adam. Well, 
It's been uh, one week now using Andractim on my face, uh, particularly the beard area, uh, in the hopes of getting my vellus hairs to shed and be replaced with terminal hairs. Now, I haven't, as of yet, noticed any new growth, but what I can say is about four days in, I did start to shed, uh, and it has been generally considerable shedding. So usually when I wash my face or I apply Andractim or I apply Minoxidil, and that hasn't happened for quite a while. I haven't noticed any shedding when I've been applying Minoxidil for quite a long time, or when I've been washing my face. Now that's noticeable shedding. We, we always shed hairs that we just don't realize about. I'm talking about my hands being covered in hairs all over, right? So that to me is quite a convenient coincidence, if it is a coincidence, um, but it is too early to say or to say, yes, it's the Andractim. And it's gonna be quite a hard process actually discerning what is the Andractim and what's just normal monoxidal progress because there is a possibility that if I never used this, I might have started experiencing this shedding anyway but it's quite convenient uh, and quite a coincidence, I'd say. So, um, can't make any definitive statements as of yet. What I will be doing is taking photos of my um, my week by week use of this. What I expect to see at the end, and I'll put them in a little slideshow at the end of this video, is to see um, less density, less coverage than what I have at the moment, because I expect that I'll get quite a bit shedding out. And then, what I expect by about month 15 is some terminal growth in that place. So it's just my theory um, at the moment. I can't say for sure whether it's gonna work, but it's a journey that you can follow on this video and we'll see where we get to. In terms of side effects so far, um, I've noticed no hair loss on my head, which is good. Um, my hair's pretty much stayed as it is. Um, I've noticed uh, an increase, a spike in my libido. Uh, which is probably quite normal from applying a hormone cream. In fact, it's one of the uses of Andraxin. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, as I say, only one week in. So I'll do a photo uh, week by week at the end of this video. But for now, let's take a look at week two. So guys, week two now on Andraxin, and I'm just going to jump straight into the update. So I've used half of a tube now. Uh, so this should last me around about a month. And so what I can say so far is that the shedding is increasing. I've had consistent shedding since I told you about it in the previous update that you saw just a moment ago. Um, it's been continuing all through the week. Again, mainly when I've been applying um, my Andractin Minox or washing my face, but also during the day as well, I've been seeing quite a lot fall out on my desk. So that's a good sign so far. Um, it has been a mix of hairs. There have been some terminals in there as well. It's likely they were just in the telogen phase, um, so they were going to shed out anyway. But so far, so good. Uh, I can't make any definitive statements this early in the video. Uh, I'll probably leave anything like that to the end once I've actually experienced this whole journey of doing this. But what I will say is that side effects wise, no further hair loss on the head. Not had any of that yet, which is a potential side effect. Um, I can still vouch for libido being higher than I would probably want it to be. Uh, and also maybe a little bit of irritability this week that I wasn't experiencing last week. Um, and it's it's more noticeable to me, but it's, it's probably something to be expected by applying something like this. So, so far so good for week two's update. Uh, and let's go into week three. Guys, this is, I've recorded this so many times now. Week three, um, yes, I have no beard. And that is because I fucked up when I was trimming and ended up having to trim the whole thing down to one millimetre. So yes, no beard at the moment. Um, stubble though, pretty good stubble coverage. It's coming back. We'll be back in fighting form by the time this video comes out. Um, in terms of side effects, so same as last week. A little bit of agitation, uh, which has actually been a little bit worse this week because I also stopped smoking. Um, and also a higher libido, which is, I'm not complaining. No complaints there. Uh, no scalp hair loss whatsoever. I am keeping the dose lower. I also don't know if I actually have the male pattern baldness gene or not. The likelihood is that I do, because about 60% of us do, but I can't know for sure, which is why I'm keeping the dosage at half of the, the full dose. It's also because I'm tight and I want these two bottles to last me two months. And so if I did the full dose, they'd only last me one month. And I'm, as I say, Slightly tight and British. Um, in terms of my views of the Andractum so far, well, I'm still experiencing beard shedding. I definitely was. I it's harder to tell now I've shaved or, or trimmed all the way down. But before I did, I was still experiencing that. I, and I'm a firm believer that it is the Andractum. I mean, it was four days afterwards. And I'd I was still using Minoxidil, but four days after starting to use Andractum, 
started experiencing some of the side effects like a little bit more agitation uh, and obviously higher libido and then obviously the shedding started and so I think to say that it's impossible that it's the DHT gel is foolhardy and uh, closed-minded to say that it couldn't possibly be the minoxidil is also the same but it's just my personal belief that it is the andractin could quite possibly be the minoxidil that being said if i never actually if i stopped using minoxidil and took andractin and i started seeing shedding people would just say oh you're seeing shedding because you stopped using minoxidil but because i am still using minoxidil people will say well you're you know experiencing shedding because you are using minoxidil so it's catch 22 you can't really win in that that's why i say win there's no point even arguing in that situation because Either way, people will just say it's just the minoxidil. I do, however, think you can supplement on this journey. I think just because minoxidil does work and it works on its own, that you can't make it work better by trying other things like derma rolling, I definitely think works. Uh, and there is science to back it up. There's not so much evidence with this stuff. Um, but that being said, um, I'm just trying it out, seeing, seeing how it goes. And so far, I seem to be experiencing the effects that I wanted. So shedding. Uh, and so yeah who knows who knows for sure that being said uh, I will point out I'm not using any other supplements at the moment um, and I'm not taking any vitamins I just stopped them so that I could document this properly that I've kind of now fucked up anyway um, and also I'm not using the derma roller I'm not using the laser comb I'm not doing anything else apart from as I said earlier in this video, just the Andractim and the Minoxidil, so sticking to that. Apologies, this week's little section update was slightly longer, so I'll try and keep it shorter next week unless something drastic happens. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at week four. So guys, week four now on Andractim, um, and I'm actually going to make this video really quick, for this clip for this week, because I've had takeaway delivered, which is a reoccurring theme on these videos. Um, Obviously I trimmed down last week to one millimeter. This is the growth since um, it's not going too badly, um, but it is a lot patchier than it usually is, which is good because I've been shedding and I can actually see if I compare a week 40 photo, which was around about three millimeters to a photo from this week, which was around about three millimeters as well, uh, because I actually um, figured out that you grow around about three millimeters of um, facial hair a week roughly between three and four that's because you grow about 0.5 inches of facial hair a month but that is based on terminal hair um, so the vellus may grow slightly slower so I do need to take that into account but from comparing the photos you can actually see areas that are now pretty much bare uh, where there was hair in there before which is a good sign it should mean that there is some returning terminals hopefully uh, they could come back vellus but I'm hoping they do come back terminal now there are also some vellus that don't seem to have grown since I've trimmed which is also potentially good uh, that might mean that they're in the telogen phase and they're waiting to shed out so all in all it seems promising at the moment um, I definitely feel like it's working uh, and I guess you could argue confirmation bias because it is me using it um, and I did expect to see a difference but I would say the fact that I start shedding very early into this um, kind of within about four or five days uh, and then that's progressed since then to now be able to be visible in comparison photos. I would say that's a pretty good indication. Anyway, guys, um, that's been pretty much week uh, four on using this. Um, I'll also point out as well, my libido is still high, uh, just in case you were wondering. Um, this stuff is uh, really good for that kind of shit. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and eat my pizza now. But thanks for tuning into this week. And now I'll show you week five. So guys, week five, uh, and I've just finished my first tube. So it's lasted longer than I thought it would last. In terms of just keeping you guys updated throughout this video, um, still no hair loss from my scalp. Um, I'm still experiencing high libido. I have a lot less uh, agitation this week. I feel a lot more chilled out. I think it was probably linked as well to the fact that I quit smoking during that period, which obviously with my body craving nicotine, I was likely to be a bit more agitated, but I'm not as bad as I, as I was the previous two weeks. I've been a lot more relaxed and calm. Um, 
And in terms of the effects, I've still had some shedding. It's a little bit harder to tell now, uh, but I have spotted some hairs um, shedding out as I've been applying stuff. Uh, very, very hard to tell, as I say. There's also areas that it aren't regrowing as I would be expecting them to, which um, is not a bad thing. I think they're just uh, vellus hairs that are now in the telogen phase, so they're waiting to be shed out. And I, I believe that's why they're not currently growing because I am still using minoxidil. Um, I haven't used it two times as I said I was going to in the previous clip uh, I've, I've used it two times a day on like maybe a couple of days this week and the rest have been one in fact I missed one day applying minoxidil completely uh, because I'd gone out <laughs> in the evening and got rather drunk uh, and then I got home and I forgot to apply it so um, generally speaking still applying minoxidil uh, at least once a day so it's that's not why those hairs aren't, aren't still growing um, it's likely as I say that they're in the telogen phase hopefully because of andractin, uh, and that they're going to shed out and be replaced with terminal hairs. I must say, since I've trimmed down and started looking at uh, my beard growing back through, uh, this isn't from the andractin. I, I think that I've noticed a lot more terminal hairs, uh, and I think that's from actually, because it was so long ago since I last trimmed, so it was like week 40, um, that I'd obviously had some shedding that had happened before that, and it was finally just being able to spot those terminal hairs regrowing through, particularly on my left side. Um, so that's a good sign. Um, I'm hoping that that will increase further from the shedding that I've had recently and I'm hoping that by the end of this second year on Minoxidil I will have a completely terminal beard. I'm looking into trying some of the stuff as well just to sort out some of these weaker areas that do have hair but they're they're a lot weaker. Um, so we'll see. So that's it really guys for the week five clip. Without further ado let's go to week six. So guys, week six on Andractim. As you'll see, I'm on the second tube now. Um, in terms of uh, differences this week, I seem to have stopped shedding. Uh, I also uh, still have quite a high libido, no scalp shedding still, uh, and I'm not being as irritable as I was before. And I do think part of that was to do with me stopping smoking and around the time just before I stopped smoking. Um, I think it's more to do with that actually than the DHT. Generally, the DHT is expected to have a quite calming effect on you. Although a hormonal imbalance could be the reason for my for my frustrations and my, my irritability as well. Now, in terms of um, precautions with this stuff, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, um, you don't want to get this onto any of the surfaces or touch anyone whilst you have it on. Um, so if you are going to use something like this, make sure that you keep your hands away from your face at all times until you're at a point where you're going to wash it off. Uh, and you want whoever is around you as well to keep their hands and themselves away from your face. Uh, in terms of um, my progress, as I said, I think I've stopped shedding now, but it's definitely a lot thinner than it used to be um, around this time. This is about three weeks and four days growth, somewhere around that, three weeks and three days growth, somewhere around that kind of timeline. Um, and as you can see, you know, it's still taking a while to come back. But because I had that trim, what it helped me realize was that a lot of hairs had already started to come back terminal from my shed around week 40, um, which is quite promising. So a lot on my cheek on my left side, up the top, and even some terminals now in the middle where there wasn't on before. Um, and on the right side, maybe a couple of new terminals around the top, but less so on this side. So I'm hoping that by the end of this treatment of doing this, I will have had enough shedding that there'll be more terminal regrowth within the few months following that. That's the hope. So guys, that's pretty much week six, uh, and now we'll have a look at week seven's results. So week seven now on Andractim, and I have been applying it once a day, uh, half a dose still, no loss of hair from my head at the moment, libido is still high, uh, side effects generally um, have reduced as well in terms of irritability. Uh, I'm not sure if that was actually from the DHT or whether that was from me quitting smoking, uh, but I seem to be a lot more chilled out now than I was previously. Um, a few other things to cover. I have only been using the minoxidil foam once a day. Uh, I know I was talking before about I might start using it twice a day. I never really got round to that. Um, I did it a couple of days, but generally speaking for the whole seven weeks now I've been applying once a day. Um, when I was doing it towards the start of this particular experiment, I was applying Andractim in the morning and foam in the evening. Now I'm kind of just applying Andractim, uh, waiting for it to dry and then applying foam straight over the top. So just thought I'd give it a go. In terms of um, shedding, actually I am still shedding. I thought I'd stop shedding. I, I haven't. Um, I believe that a lot of the vellus, some of the vellus uh, that are not really growing at the moment, are actually in the telogen phase, which is the resting phase of hair growth. Uh, and when I was uh, giving my 
my facial hair a bit of a stroke recently, uh, I did notice some uh, very, very fine, thin, tiny, tiny little stubble length hairs. Um, and I believe that's because they have been in the telogen phase and not growing. Uh, so I think that I am still shedding, but nowhere near as much as I was previously. Now, it's crazy to think I've already done seven uh, weeks on this. I've still got the majority of a tube left. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's working. Uh, I think it is anyway. Um, we'll see over the next few months. I don't think the end of this video is going to be a conclusion as to whether it has worked or not. I think we'll probably see that a little bit further down the line. But who knows? Uh, I mean, so far, what I can say is that um, with the extensive shedding I've had, it has been a lot weaker. So I am hoping that those do come back as terminal hairs, as I said in the previous clips. But now let's see how I get on in the next week. So guys, week eight now on Andractim, um, alongside my usual minoxidil routine. Uh, I've changed my minoxidil routine slightly to just foam once a day, but Andractim alongside that. Now, the reason I'm stopping it here uh, is because I want my body to reach a homeostasis within my hormone levels again. I don't think uh, you should use this stuff for too long. Um, I think eight weeks is long enough. I might use up the rest of this tube within the next few months, but I'm gonna take a few months break from Andract him um, just to allow my body to reach a level of kind of homeostasis again, let my hormones rebalance. In terms of um, why I'm stopping as well, I mean, week six, I thought I saw the end of shedding. Week seven, I saw some small stubble kind of shedding, which I think was hair that hadn't grown because it was in the telogen phase, some of the vellus hairs. Uh, and then now it seems to have stopped completely. So um, in, in that respect, if I'm still not seeing any kind of change or any progress, I may as well I will halt it. And obviously, as I say, let my hormones rebalance. But that doesn't mean that um, I don't think it worked because I do. I actually do think that this worked uh, and I'll explain why. So when I started out, my hypothesis was that... Um, I would see shedding from using this and that I would see um, some perhaps some new terminal hair growth and I have actually had both but I can't say that the latter the terminal hair growth I can't say is from the andractim it could be from a shed that I had several months ago which would make more sense to be honest with you given the time scales we're talking about um, but I do think in the coming months I will see more terminal hairs which will be as a result of this experiment and that's just my opinion now I will say there was a thread on Jeff's beard board uh, from a long, long time ago that could actually support my hypothesis of a guy called Cultivator B. Now, I didn't really like Cultivator B stuff, and I think I might have even talked about him in the first clip in this video. I can't remember. It was eight weeks ago now. But um, saying about how he called this stuff a beard killer. And I think that's because he was experiencing shedding, uh, and he panicked and didn't really know what it was. And we know a lot more about monoxidal beards now and beards in general, so I think he was probably shedding at that point and panicked. Um, I think that would support my hypothesis. But obviously, without other people trying this as well, it's impossible to say. That being said, I'm really not recommending you guys go out and do this. I can't advise you guys go and do this. I did it myself to experiment on myself. And I use the term experiment very loosely because although I did have some parameters like only minoxidil and only um, DHT gel and Dractim, I, I didn't have as strict as would be required to actually conduct a uh, experiment in the true sense and also it was only just me so if anything it would just be a case study um but again i mean you know there is questions around the legality of you obtaining this depending on where you are in the world i know in the us you'll have a real hard time obtaining this um there's also questions around you know your own body and your own health and you do have to keep that in mind and um you know you have to be sensible with these kinds of things and obviously i've taken a risk myself but that's my own choice to make and the only reason that i'm really telling you guys that i've even done this and that i've even documented my experience is so that you know you're in the know of what i've been doing and what i've done on my journey so that i'm not disingenuous about how my beard may have improved or may have started shedding or whatnot so um out of my own objective opinion um I i'd like to think that i can be as objective as possible here I do think it helped. Um, I do think it helped. And, you know, it's one of the things I actually stuck at to experiment. Uh, I won't be going on the supplements straight back. No, I'm probably going to be doing some other secret experiments at some point. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'll figure it out. So I thought I would give you this quick update. I can then talk about it more freely when it comes to my week, um, well, whatever week, month 14 update. You'll know. Obviously, by then, I'll have already released this video. Okay, so let's look at the slideshow progress from my Andractum experience. Please do bear in mind, obviously, I trimmed during this as well. So it's probably not going to be that 
useful, but maybe we'll be able to spot some areas where it's weaker. Wait. Time for a cool down, call up the lads, get them all round We bun herbs and we've never been caught out I'm a big mic man from a small town I used to spit bars on a school ground Now I'm in studio week after week Bar for bar, beat for beat There's no genre he can't defeat He's an animal, eating up MCs for breakfast Leave man breathless, heading to the exit Wait, 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 let me get this Let me show why I shine like necklace Too hard for them, new bars for them I cruise past the Still got a smirk on my face I only work if it's paid before I write bars, I purchase an eighth. I'm first in the race, getting further away. I'm Mo Farah, yeah. you same boat. Yeah. I get vexed when the truth ain't told. Right. I hate liars, my bars make fires. I bring flames and fumes of smoke. Let me break this to pieces. Most MCs ain't living that good life, they make you believe it. Stunting, acting, faking, I've seen it. To me, it just ain't appealing. No, no, no. I used to rate you, fam. To. Now I'm glad I ain't you, fam. The truth say them man made you, fam. Nowadays, everyone hates you, fam. Even the chick that I'm banging right now has got a broke down KA. So, uh, guys, I hope that you found that interesting um thanks very much for watching i hope that this whole little series tell me what you think in the comments whether you liked this kind of setup uh, an experiment of me going away for a few months for a couple of months and trying something without you guys knowing and then coming back and reporting on it week by week um if i do it again i'll probably do the reports monthly or bi-weekly uh but there we go. Uh, please do like the video. Uh, please do comment as well. Uh, and if you do want to keep up to date with my videos, please hit that subscribe button. I've been Adam at The Beard Solution with the end, for now, of the Andractum experiment. And I'll see you guys again next time. You don't rate me because I ain't got a blue tick, but I got one on the top that gave me. I don't even know what's real.